doing some unboxing of the first test sixes out in the wild. Has, face your arrow up, lay it on the ground, grab your extrusion, and pull gently. You want to try and keep the foam box locks in the back corner on the chassis. Sometimes they fall out. Like that one. Get your accessories out of the way. Take your front Y foam out. Push the bed back and lift up. Slide your bed out. And now you can stand the chassis up. Thumb screws out. Yeah, it doesn't look cool. Yeah, it's cool. Nice looking machine. There'll be noise. This is a working shop. <laughs> I can tape here, and then this just drops out the bottom. This is also what secures the bed front to back and transport. Bottom of the bed, you got your X and Y max and min switches now. Just place your bed. On the brackets. Thumb screws just need to be snug. Rear thumb screws. Plug in your Y carriage motor connector. And plug in your bed connector. Got three connectors on here. Usually two of them are hiding under the bed. This connector can be fits in like this. It can be reversed if it doesn't fit. Flip it around. The bed thermistor connector. And then all of the sensors for the bed. And just take your wire loom and pop it into the connector right here. Remove our warning here. Filament holder. And the filament feed tube holder. Back in the box. Box one with your accessories. Tool kit. And the nice things I include power, USB, your SD card. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the SD card slot right now. Contacts board U just slides right in the side here. Filament feed tube just clips onto there. And then you have some samples of filament and your test rocket plus. You also have if you followed the directions, you'd see this thing that says start here and would show you all the stuff that I just did. There's your safety and warnings, all several pages of it, operations manual, and then the
Task 6 manual. Great photos, nicely done operations manual. Okay. One more box. It's the tool head. This is the new V2.1 tool head. Now it's the bigger cooling fan here and dual filament coolers which help for even cooling. Take the uh, two and a half mil wrench out of your wrench set that Wallsbot nicely provides. Loosen your set screw here. Set it some place where you won't lose it. Take your foam off the connector here. Place the tool head. And it's all V. Finish tightening with the convenient ball end driver. Put tools away so you know where they are. And connect your plug which has this nice indicator. And that's it. That's unboxing and assembly. Thank you.